Do you have hundreds of minis sitting on your shelves unpainted? Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? In this video, we're going to see if the slap chop method is all it's cracked up to be and to see whether we can get a model from this to this with just a layer of paint. Is it possible to learn this power? Before we begin, I'm not just going to pull out this orc pod racer model and just go for it. Sun Tzu says in the art of war, if you know your enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. Well, I must know my enemy. Slap chop. So I did my research, and really that was just watching two videos, one from the Honest Wargamer and one of Ninjon's videos. Slapchop isn't anything new when it comes to painting, but for some reason lots of YouTubers are making videos on it and it's just like the kind of flavor of the month, so I need to jump on that bandwagon to ride it to the YouTube bank or whatever. For a conventional Slapchop, it starts with a black prime. You can experiment with different colors, but we're not going to venture too far from the beaten track in this video. Then you would dry brush a lighter color, usually a form of gray. And then finally you would highlight the softest areas and edges with a white. I found the dry brushing to be a bit tricky as I don't have one of those fancy artist opus brushes that I see all the popular YouTubers using. And one of the things I noticed was that when I was wiping off my paint onto the paper towel, it would also dry out the paint as well. And so I got a bit of this chalky finish. After that, you would then apply your contrast speed paints, whatever you would like to call them over that. And the dry brushed highlights would show through the contrast. My first test model was Puppets Wars Orc Stormboy equivalent. I slapped on some contrast on this orc and I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, the jetpack is a bit dark for my liking and maybe I need to touch up a few parts here and there, but for what it is, Totally dig it. Took me about 40 minutes, so it's not the 15 or 25 that most slap chop enthusiasts advertise. I think once you know your scheme, uh, you limit your color palette to maybe six or seven different colors. And with a bit more practice, I think I could half that time, but I'd be happy to have a squad of these dudes on the table. To anyone new visiting the channel, I just want to say a big thank you and- Hello there. Next, I try these night models by Puppets War. It's just a Puppets War Fiesta. And with this, I did limit the colors. I think there's only four colors here. And the thing that took most of the time was the edge highlighting. It's not bad, it's not great, but um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out for just some sort of experiment. I think I'm getting used to, it's okay to paint models and to just stop painting them, even though you're not too happy with the finished product. Nice easy squad of five for a unit. And they took about two, two and a half hours all up. And that was primarily the edge highlighting that took a lot of the time. For the piece of resistance, what you've been waiting for. Man, I should have had a few more Star Wars puns in this. Now this is- Speed painting. And I really just love like this, this pod racer, the, the, the Star Wars kind of vibes. Maybe I should have had like Jar Jar's head on the ground or something like that. I pre-prepared this model with a dry brush and it was ready to go. This model took about two hours to paint for similar reasons to the Orc Storm Boy. I just didn't know which parts to paint different colors and I was going back and forth between colors. I did know that it was gonna have a lot of blue in it because my Orc army is Death Skulls, but trying to work out just the pipes and the cables and what colors they were gonna be just kind of took up a bit of time. There's a lot of detail on this model, which is really cool, but just to add some variation, just that it's not just all blue. Now for Habes' handy hobby hints, one of the things I would suggest is maybe work your way up from lighter colors to darker colors with the contrast. The lighter colors you can paint over with some of the darker colors. And if you're not worrying too much about neatness, it just kind of adds some extra variation. My other hint would be that some of the contrast paints are just a little bad. I think it was Golem and Flesh or Dark Earth Flesh. One of the two. I think you broke my balloon tie hand. You're garbage. The base took me like three minutes. It was just a dry brush pass of brown, light brown and orange. And I did a little bit of dry brushing on the underside of the model. So it looks like there's a bit of dust, you know, like sprinkled on it, you know, just sprinkling that extra little detail there. As per my usual standard of lazy painting, all the unimportant bits of brown, black, or just kept dark. Please do not look at this model up close, especially in the cracks, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. The beauty of Slap Chop is that this model is good to go on the table. You can go back and do the highlights, add some battle damage and things like that after a game or two. All these models that I've used are 3D printed. If you'd like to see some videos from me about 3D printing, you can check this video out over here.